Hey everybody, Joel Palmer here at uh, Vintage Fitness down here in the cavern. I want to talk to you today a little bit about neck pain. Uh, are you somebody who suffers from chronic neck pain, stiffness, maybe a loss of range of motion? Perhaps you've got arthritis in your neck or degenerative disc or joint disease in there. Perhaps you've had an old injury, an old whiplash that haunts you now years later. Um, or maybe it's something more ergonomic. Are you somebody that sits at a desk all day, does a lot of paperwork, a lot of computer work? Maybe you're sort of hunched over your station, uh, working at a table or a bench all day, so you're hunched over a lot. Well, if you are in any of those categories, you know what it's like to get you know stiff necks, uh, feel like you lost a lot of range of motion over the years. You know, little things like just you know backing up the car can become difficult. Um, I'm going to show you just a simple, just a simple mobility drill just to help you out. Um, nothing fancy. The biggest thing with the, with any of those types of problems is to try to work on your mobility. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lot of repetition, a lot of work, but it's short, sweet, simple, gets to the point and over time can help to gain back a little bit of that lost range of motion. So I'm going to show you just a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to do it. You can follow right along with me. I'm just going to kind of show you some of the stuff I do for my own um, neck care, just for the mobility stuff. This is especially great if you are somebody who has a job where you're stuck at a desk or a computer typing or banging away all day, or maybe you work on a bench all day and you're hunched over. This is not a bad way to break up your work day. Take a, take a little mobility break at lunchtime at the very least, and maybe again when you get home at night, you do this twice a day, you might find that you start getting a little bit more motion back in that neck. All right, so none of this is going to cure arthritis or degenerative joint disease or worn out discs. I get, I get that point, um, but you're, you're trying to make what you have as most functional as possible. So here we go. Here's some simple things. This is what I do for my own neck. Start with just a few reverse shoulder rolls. I like to do maybe about 10 big circles, pulling back, emphasizing the retraction, which is the shoulder blade squeeze on the backside. Never looking down, always sort of looking eyes up a little bit, okay? Eyes up, right? And we just knock off about 10. I've already forgot how many I've done here. So let's do two more. One, two more. Next thing I like to do is simple rotations. Simple rotations. I like to pause in the middle. I don't want to whip the head from side to side. That's a good way to pull a muscle. So we'll just start. And I do, I count all the way to one side and all the way back to the other is one repetition. I'll do maybe five or six of these. So we'll turn, look over the left shoulder, come back, pause in the center, turn, look over the right shoulder, pause in the center, that's one. Let's go left to center, to right to center, that's two. You take it only as far as you can comfortably go. It's not about trying to create a lot of pain and suffering. It's about gradually improving range of motion. So there's three, left, middle, back to the right. Just a little pause in the middle. That's four. Let's do one more. And to the right and back to the middle. That's five. Next thing I like to do is just some lateral bending. Same thing, we don't wanna whip it side to side, so I always pause in the middle. Actually, a lot of times I like to work one side for five reps, then the other side for five reps, but you can alternate if you want. I'm gonna do it uh, one side at a time because what I like to do is trap the opposite arm so you get a deeper stretch through the trapezius. This gets really tight on a lot of us. So I'm gonna trap my left arm. I'm just gonna hold it behind me, okay? So I'm just sort of holding it and I'll press it down here, okay? So here we go, we'll press it down, hold it. You can actually, if you need a little bit more of a, a little more of a stretch, you can pull this arm over a little bit, okay? So here we go, let's trap the left arm and now we're gonna tip right ear towards right shoulder. Tip and back to the center, that's one. Tip. Back to the center is two. 
tip. If you want more of a stretch, you can hold it a little bit longer. Back to the center, that's three. Let's go right side, right ear to right shoulder. Back to the center is four. One more time. And back to center is five. Now we're just gonna switch the grip. I'm gonna just now trap the opposite arm, the right arm, okay? So we trap it. We're just gonna sort of press it down, deviate it over a little bit, right? There you go. Trap it. Now let's go the opposite way. So left ear towards left shoulder. And center. That's one rep. I like to kind of just do it as a mobility drill. You can uh, certainly hold the stretch position longer. You get more of a stretching effect, more of a, you know, flexibility work. I like to break mine up and, you know, maintain more of a mobility type thing. So we just keep it moving. There's four. We're going to go one more. There's five. Great. All right. One thing I do try to avoid is I try to avoid a lot of flexion of the neck, mostly because most of us do plenty of that anyway. We sit and type at a computer or we're sitting at a steering wheel, you know, we're on our phones, we're on our Game Boys, whatever. So we tend to do a lot of this anyway. So what we wanna do is work on extensions. So the next one I like to do is I just like to do some simple neck extensions. Again, we'll just do like five reps. All we do is we start in the neutral position, me looking straight at you. Tip your head back as far as you can take it and back to neutral. Tip back, back to neutral. To tip back, back to neutral. We're trying to do it all with the neck. Try not to overextend the lumbar spine. Tip back, look up, look with your eyes. Look up overhead if you can, right? Look up, there's four, we'll do one more. There's five, beautiful. Five reps of that. Last one I like to do is just some simple half circles. So we don't do full circles. That can be a little risky on some of those uh, facet joints of the spine. So I like to just keep it half circles a little bit. Again, this will give you a little bit of the flexion, but we're doing it more in a mobility way. So just trying to get some blood circulating through that neck. So here's how we do this one. Again, we'll just go sh uh, left shoulder to right shoulder and back as a rep, okay? Just simple five reps. So all we do is we go from here, we roll to the right and back. That's one. Right, back to the left is two. Don't be surprised. Sometimes you'll get snaps and pops. Three. Again, that's four. And five. Boom. Done. Simple mobility drills for your neck. Just working on that motion pattern, trying to get some range of motion back. It's a great way to break up the monotony of sitting at your desk all day as well. Uh, just a side note, you might get snaps and pops in your neck. Don't freak out. Most of the time they're painless, especially if you have somebody with some arthritis or wear and tear in that neck. Joints get creaky, sort of like a squeaky floorboard in a house. Doesn't mean the house is falling down, just means you got an old floorboard that's got a little extra noise in it, okay? So you might get some snaps and pops. As long as it doesn't hurt, you're, you're generally you're fine. If it does give you some uh, sharp pains while you do it, then, then back off, certainly, and then go check with your uh, healthcare provider about it and see if there's other things going on. But in the meantime, if you're looking just to get a little bit of range of motion in, here's a great range of motion trick for you. So there you go. I'm Joel. This is The Cavern here at VFSV. Hope this helps you out a little bit and uh, check back for some other videos. Take care. Life is heavy. Train for life. See ya.